Welcome to a mid-journey tutorial from Polyform Studio. We're here today to talk about combining images in mid-journey. So you've got a picture of yourself, you want to look like a Viking. You got a picture of a frog, you want to make him a prince, or you want to take that frog prince and put him in a field. We're all about combining two different images. To start, you need a bunch of images to combine. Um, to prevent just stealing stuff from the internet, I pre-rendered a bunch of stuff in mid-journey. We've got a Ryan Reynolds looking character here. We've got a Ben Affleck looking friend of his. We've got a cyberpunk city scene, a cyberpunk person, and then a ninja just hanging out on a white background. We're gonna go ahead and upload all of those right off the bat. While those upload, it's important to check out your settings for this tutorial. So you can go backslash settings. You'll see all your different mid-journey settings here. Uh, I won't get into many of them. It's just important that you highlight mid-journey version four. And then later on in the tutorial, we'll talk about remix mode and how that can be valuable. So I've got these images here, and the reason to upload them to your Discord like this is so that you get this text link underneath that says open in browser. And when you do, you get this URL. And that URL is gonna be what represents the image that you want to combine. So we're gonna start with Ben Affleck here. And you go imagine, paste in that URL, add a space, and then we're gonna combine them with this cyberpunk character. So open that in the browser, take the URL, come back, and then paste it after the space in your prompt. And then just let that render out. All right, so that's all rendered out. As you can see, we've got a vaguely looking Ben Affleck character with some vaguely cyberpunk features. I think this third one is the most in the vein of what we're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and up res that one. All right, so now we've got this Ben Affleck cyberpunk character rendered up. Um, a little wonky, you know, we'll give it a medium frowny face, kind of a okay job. Um, but the main thing you wanna do here is go into your reactions and put in the envelope. And what that's gonna do is give you some information about the render you just did. The most important bit here being the seed. Now, if you wanna take this to the next level, you can just add a bunch of prompts. So we'll say um, cyberpunk man with uh, robotic, um, augmentations, right? That's gonna be more cyberpunk than he is now. That's what we're looking for. And then I'm gonna go dash dash seed space and then paste in that number that it gave me here that's the seed number. So now we're gonna be using this image as the seed image and adding these prompts on top of it. So we'll just let that render out. All right, so now that has rendered out. We've got some way more severe augmentations here but you can see it took some liberties with the man. We're a lot less Ben Affleck here. So another strategy you can employ here is to skip the seed phrase thing, go back, grab your Ben Affleck URL. Here it is. We're gonna go imagine, put that in, space. We're gonna grab our cyberpunk URL again. I'm gonna put that in. And then right after that, I'm gonna write the uh, cyberpunk augmentations part, and then just let that render out. And adding your prompt with the URLs helps the algorithm keep it on pace a little bit more. All right, now that's rendered out, and you can see we've got a much more Ben Affleck looking character with what much more severe cybernetic augmentations, and we're definitely moving in the right direction. We can make this even more like Ben Affleck by waiting. Um, we've got another tutorial coming up on, on how to do image waiting, but uh, that's the gist of it for how to combine images in this particular way. Now, another strategy is putting a character in a scene. So let's go up here to our cyberpunk city scene we're gonna do the same thing, just open that in the browser, get the URL, go imagine, and I'll paste that in there, add a space, and then I'm gonna grab my ninja on the background, grab the URL for that, and 
Now, the goal here is to put the ninja in the cyberpunk cityscape, right? So just using these two URLs should do the trick. And now that it's rendered, you'll see pretty good. We've brought in a bunch of the white background, so it's lighting things up a lot. I got a white sky, white uh, ground here, but you'll also see we've got the kind of Neo Tokyo looking cyberpunk background. Uh, it's super interesting that it actually gave it much more of a traditional Japanese flair, even though the original image didn't really have much of that in it. Um, so it's, it's cool that it recognized the ninja and, and added that bit of a touch. So I'm gonna do the same thing here where I'm gonna up res one of them and you'll see that rendered out and we're gonna do the same thing as we did before where we use the envelope to get a little bit of extra information. We want that seed phrase. Now we're gonna go imagine a ninja standing in a cyberpunk city scene. And then we're just gonna use the seed that's dash dash seed space, paste in that number, and we'll render that out. And it'll be a little bit more what we're going for. Now that we're rendered out, you'll see we have a much more cyberpunky scene. We've got a ninja that's starting to look a little bit like a cyberpunky ninja, a little less like a regular ninja. Again, if you wanted to go ahead and add a weighting to the ninja part of the prompt, say, a weighting of 1.5 or 2 and then for the cyberpunk scene at a weighting of 1 uh, that would make our ninja a lot less cyberpunk a lot more ninja and keep the background as cyberpunky as we want it so as you can see in a couple easy steps it's really easy to combine two images in mid journey of course you can use image weighting you can use re-rolling you can use seeds you can use all these other techniques to make it an even better result we'll have a bunch of other tutorials that cover those specific ways to improve your output but as you can see here it's just a couple of steps to combine two images in mid journey thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time